Hey guys, welcome back. It is Vordy here, and we, or myself, have been gone for a little while. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what's going on, and we're going to jump right into the goodies, because I don't really want to waste too much time talking about my boring life. As you guys know, I bought a new house, and I was moving into it. When we got here, the keys that were given to us by our lawyers and by the builder didn't actually work. So we were actually stuck outside for a little bit. I had to find a different place to live for for a couple of, like almost a week and a bit. So that now that I'm actually in my house, uh, they haven't even pulled or run the internet down to us. So we don't really even have an opportunity to run certain internets, which is really dumb. So what was the solution from these guys? This magical solution was to use satellite internet in the city, which makes no sense. It's not like we live on a farm or something, which is absurd. But anyways... After lots of calling around and, and pulling some teeth, I was able to get some proper internet out here so I can actually stream, which is my overall plan. And on top of that, being able to actually upload something to, like this year it would be really nice without having to wait for like clouds to move over my house so that I can actually send out data to the satellites. But with all that being said, I finally got everything running and here I am trying to make a video letting you guys know about that. If you're interested, let me know. I will let you guys know more about what happened if you guys are interested in it, but I don't really want to just bore you by just talking about it. You guys came here for the goodies. So let's jump right into that. Guys, the first thing I'm going to cover here is what's going on right now. Uh, I'm not going to take too much time talking about it because I don't know. It's very frustrating and I don't know how people feel about it. It's up to you to make up your mind on it. But I'm going to let you, my, let you know my personal opinion, which right now is if you haven't summoned on this banner, don't. It is a waste of your money. It doesn't make any sense. If you wanted to do the math for it, go to Reddit. You will see that a lot of people actually already did the math. The more reasonable price for something like this, uh, an 11 pull where it's guaranteed to have a 5-star unit, uh, is about $20 in your respectful area. And, and honestly, if it was $20, I'd probably pull on it too because that sounds a little bit more reasonable. You know, it's like 20 bucks. You know, you'd spend a lot more than that trying to take a chance, uh, you know, by pulling on your own. So $20 is fairly reasonable. But this is just absurd. Way overpriced. It's not even a banner, uh, not a guaranteed banner uh, thing. So you're not going to get any of the new units. It's just anything in their pool, okay? Um, it's just not worth your time. All right, uh, and to, to kind of say a little bit of my personal opinion about this whole scenario, this is like this is just an addition to a bad path that uh, Gloomy has been following over the last like four weeks. And if you're not curious about what's going on about that, is they've made some very bad business decisions with like stuff like this, but they've also made some bad decisions when it comes down to how they release their content and their patches and stuff like that. So essentially, they release a bunch of crap. Uh, with a lot of errors and stuff like that, which is okay. It makes sense, uh, you know, after a patch or an update, you're going to get some problems. It's no problem. But next update or next uh, maintenance, they didn't fix that problem. They just introduced more problems. And then when they reached out to the community to be like, hey, guys, like, what would you guys like to see? What would you like to, to for us to do? And, they're like, and the, the community was very vocal, which was really nice to see. Lots of positive information was provided to them, letting them know like this is what we were like we would like to see. Um, the majority of the answers are like like pretty much like yeah, like you know, okay, like thank you for telling us, and we might get we'll, we'll look into it. Nothing was done. Then shortly after they released a statement saying the majority of the stuff finished, still wasn't. People are still uh, like for example when I logged in this morning, this um, ten plus one cache summon was not in i went into standard summons i did my free standard summon i pulled and when i came back this populated which it shouldn't it should actually be populated right away when you log into the game um so the banners are still disappearing and reappearing which is really weird um but whatever that's a small problem it's not really it's not gonna you know, detrimentally break my game but for myself like stuff like frame issues uh i have a iphone uh plus s or whatever the hell you want to call it it's a massive ass phone it's fantastic it works really well and uh, i'm getting frame issues because of this game i have another phone which is an iphone 7s um and i run it on that phone too and that phone too is getting issues as well with they'll get random frame issues if you're not sure what frames do is when you're trying to chain with units that are, are very that have the same frames by the time you press the second button or the second unit to, to go run as chain uh, by the time it loads it into memory and the game executes it and stuff like that the frames are completely off so you will never get that perfect chain or even close to that chain i've had chains like that run up into the 60s only able to run up into like the low 50s and to the high 40s which is like that's that's a lot of damage to miss out on so it is a game breaking bug 
because you, you can't take advantage of what's actually expected from the game, like chaining. So that's kind of the quick rundown from them. They've been on a, on a really bad path. If this has affected you already, let me know in the comment section below how you feel and uh, what you think would be a good outcome from them. Like personally, I, I would I would like them to just like take one week of maintenance and really, really like comb through the code and just get the game to where it was like prior to the new year, prior to when they started having really big problems where every time maintenance goes around, you know, the game has something new introduced into it that was just not, not working out. Um, it'd be really interesting to see what they will do. Um, the other thing they have added here, they've added in the drop rates. It's a lazy way of adding it in, letting you know how much uh, everything is going to be. But essentially, what is asked of them in this, if you actually go to Apple's um, website and you look at what it means, like how to use, how to have a Gasha game in um, <clears throat> in the iOS store and what is expected, every item that is in the game should uh, be presented to you in what value of percent you have to actually acquire that item. So this is a lazy way of doing it, saying that you have a 3% chance of getting a rainbow, but they don't tell you what the percent chance of, of getting a new unit is or what the, like which units within that 3% have a higher rate. So technically by IO, like Apple's laws for mobile games that run like this, which have like a sense of gambling in them, they're supposed to provide the percentage for every unit. So like for every five star unit in the game they have, they should be able to tell you what the chances are of those 3% to get one of the other ones. So you get a rainbow percent, you have a 3% chance of getting it. Now you have a, let's say we'll just use like lightning. You have X percent to get lightning once you break into those hundred units you have in there. So it's either they all share the same percentage or some of them share more percentages. And this is arguable because I've like, for example, myself, I've had very crazy luck with pulling like Lunith. I pulled like five or six of Lunith and then my luck disappeared from Lunith and all of a sudden I'm pulling tons of Queens. And then you have someone like uh click clicks pulling, you know, other units and he's got multiples of them. And then, you know, he doesn't get queen. Right, I, I know it's RNG and stuff like that, but certain RNG factors, like you have a dice of a of a hundred and fifty units, and you roll the dice, like you know how slim the chances are of rolling the dice on the same unit multiple times. So, like, let's say you get two rainbows back to back, and in both of those rainbows, you get the same character. So right now, I, I think they have like 100. I'm not sure. This is just a figurative number for right now. But let's say you have a 1 in a 100 chance of getting the same character twice. Like, that's a pretty big chance. Like, it's not 1 in a million. But, like, it's still a pretty big chance that you have to roll it and get it. And myself and a lot of other people are experiencing that where you're pretty much getting the same units. Like, one week I will be rolling nothing but Wilhelms. And then next week I'll be rolling nothing but Queens. And then, you know, but there's certain characters that no matter, even on their banners, I will never get them. Like Ayaka and some of these four-star units. Even for this current event, I can't, for the life of me, after spending almost 30,000 Lapis, I cannot, for the for the life of me, get a single four-star banner unit. Like, I've gotten hundreds, <laughs> literally hundreds of, of gold crystals and I could not get my hands on yet, which is fine. Like I'm going to, I admit my defeat on that and that's it. But uh, that's pretty much how that's running and it's unfortunate that they're sucking on that. But let's get to the goodies, sort of. The next part here I wanted to quickly touch upon. So um, what have I been doing so far? Uh, I've been just pretty much, I spent most of my lapis on uh, when the love event, uh, festival event came out. I did not get anything else except that I actually got no rainbows within those like 20,000, almost 30,000 of, um, what do you call it, uh, lapis that were related to the banner. I ended up getting, I think, a rainbow and it was a queen or something like that. It's something redundant. But uh, on a daily pull in the morning when I woke up, I ended up getting my hands on the Divine Beast Chow. So I do have this dog very very cool unit i mean he doesn't have a lot of abilities it doesn't make him very interesting but he is a magic tank and he can do some pretty hefty things and with a little bit of tweaking you can actually get his uh, like almost all of his resistances up to 100 and if you are lucky to get let's say two cryas kralas kralas from the previous event like the uh, what do you call it the halloween event was it no the winter event sorry winter whale event um you can put two like because her trust mastery 25% resistance to everything so you can give it 50% and then with a couple of items here like if you had the rainbow 
uh, rainbow robe that's going to give you another 30 percent if you had hero's shield which because he can wear shields because his dog's badass um you can get even even more resistance so technically you can get his resistance is all above 100 where the heck is my shield so uh not the diamond shield where is the hero shield oh sorry da dragon shield as well you can use that but hero shield is the one that gives i'm blind as a bat right now i am blind as a bat oh it's right there but i can't click on it because Reftia is wearing it, but yeah, Hero Shield also gives you a lot of resistance to a lot of stuff. So, I mean, any of these will give you this. It's just insane. You can get him all into 100. Very, very interesting unit for magic uh, tanking, but other than that, his abilities are not super spectacular. Um, I mean, I'm not maxed out yet, but... Uh, it's I don't know, he's interesting. The one thing I would say, if you do have them, for this event where you're farming, you should bring him along. Um... He does have a uh, fortunate bringer or fortune bringer where boost drop rate of rare items from enemies, which is really cool. On top of that, he's got gill finder, I think. Uh, where is the gill finder? Gill finder. Yeah, gill farmer boost gill obtained by defeating enemies. So this, you know, anytime you're farming for gill, anytime you're farming for items, he's got a, a unit you want to bring along. So that's why my party is formulated like this. I'm bringing uh, Zahn. Mm, pardon me. Zahn for waylay. Waylay? Is it waylay? What was it called? What's the ability called? Where is it? I should... Where? Where are you? Mm. Wow. Where are you? There it is. Waylay. It was Waylay. Uh, damage all damage all enemies and steal from them. So I bring him along to steal because you can actually steal those different colored roots that you need to craft all your items. I mean. Um, it's pretty straightforward for as far as farming. Uh, other than that, the, it's not been that great. The events that we've had so far have been very lackluster. Um, I don't know. F uh, Festival of Love is interesting. I mean, I'll do a run here with you guys. I'm expecting that other part to come out tomorrow. Uh, that's going to give you like more difficulty for, for this. But like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Final Fantasy XII event was okay. But I don't know. So essentially what I do is I try and bring the dogs... And if I can't find a dog or whatever, you bring the one that you have from the event. If you're struggling and you need somebody stronger, then you can bring some, you know, another Zon or whatever for your released items. But as you can see here, like this lag, like I, I actually have the Nox set up so that it runs at um, about like four gigabytes of RAM, which is some people don't even have that much memory on most of their computers. But that's what I've dedicated to to Nox, so I can play any other game on on here without any problems because yeah you give it a ton of a ton of memory and it's fine it runs smooth but with the stuff that they haven't changed here like it is it is horrendous like horrendous and I, i'm doing it on the laptop here that's got uh 12 gigabytes of de dedicated ram on it it's got a high-end nvidia graphics card so it, it's not it's not the computer it's not the graphics card it is um the issues that people have been facing. And this is why a lot of people kind of like moved away from the game. If you go on Reddit, you guys will see that a, a lot of people are like just saying like, you know what? I'm just going to uninstall the game and not play anymore because like, you know, I don't want to accidentally invest in this game again, you know, by not getting anything in return. Like you're not getting the support so that your units can, uh, sorry, your units, so that you can get the better experience you're looking for. So getting, uh, you know, pulling, Obviously, right now, obviously the best system they have is like, you will never get an error when you're wasting money. You want to go buy stuff? Like, let's say today you go to try and buy Lapis and there was an error. It would be fixed immediately. Like, literally, probably while you're making a phone call, you're going to get a result on that. It's saying like, they're going to say, oh, try again right now. Like, you can spend your money. But anything that's not related to your money is... It's going to take forever. And it's one of those things where they're like, oh, we'll investigate. We'll take a look. We'll see what's going on. But as you guys can see, this is why I don't I don't actually play the game on Nox. And until I fix this, it's going to be very hard. Everything I'm going to do on Nox is going to be very limited. I was probably just stick to doing like unit reviews and stuff like that and the pulls. But playing the games, I'm going to try and set up my phone so that we can just stream off my phone. Because to have uh, to stream this game right now on something like this is not going to work out. Uh, and the, the best part is I actually just reinstalled Nox and got the newest version to see if I can fix this, but uh, it's the same thing. So this is kind of the path I've been taking. 
It's very quick. There's only one problematic unit that appears here is the dragon. He's weak to fire. If you have anybody that does fire, he's a joke. But uh, he doesn't hit that hard anyway. So if you have a tank in your group, you're going to be fine. Uh, I don't think you need a healer in any case. As long as you have one strong unit, you're going to be fine. All right, almost done. Let's get her done. Get her done. All right. All right. Please. I just want to, like, hang myself watching this. So it's got to auto. Because I really don't want to go through picking the abilities. Because, oh, my God. Like, why? <laughs> why so bad? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah, good luck trying to chain like this. It's just it's horrible. So that's how it is. Um, hopefully, Gumi fixes their stuff so that you know makes this a lot easier. Uh, so that I can continue to use Nox and fix it. But uh, if they don't, it's no problem. I do have a weight that I can just stream right off my phone, so I'm not actually too too upset about it. It's just that right now, because I I have limited space right now, I got my desk, I got all my boxes opened up. Right after this video, I'm actually going to go start unpacking my computers and setting them up so that I, uh, within the next day or two, <laughs> will be in a position to actually start streaming. Um, and more importantly, I can start getting the videos out more regularly. So over the next couple of days, it may, might be one or two come out, uh, which I think should be okay for <laughs> to kind of let you guys know I'm back and everything is running smooth, which it isn't right now. But the hard part is over, which is trying to get the internet to the house. So that's pretty much how the event is going. Let's see. They did say something this morning. Important. It, issue report. Okay, let's see what they say here. We have confirmed the following issue in the game. It has since been resolved and we expect no further setback from it. Expedition connection error. Never use this for experience con uh, connect continuous connection errors. When trying to complete an expedition with a six star chow unit with a twin discipline skill in the team and were prevented from completing the expedition and attaining their rewards. Wow! A prime example of what I was just saying. <laughs> Take an, a, a new unit or something and then put him into the unit but it breaks a different part of the game like it's very confusing festival of love treasure chest error if a player opened a treasure chest in the festival of love event and lost a battle therefore not receiving the rewards from the chest the same treasure chest would not reset for the player to retrieve the item for a successful completion of the stage during a later attempt wow that is a horrendous bug i hope none of you guys got hit by that this issue has been fixed and users experience this problem will be able to complete the affected expedition and events without any further problems. Players who have experienced the problem before fix, please contact our customer support for any assistance which you may need. Wow. That sucks. I hope it wasn't any of you guys that got struck by that because that is horrendous. It sucks. Uh, and I don't even know what to tell you guys about that. But anyways, I think that's pretty good for a lengthy video to come back and let you guys know I am back. Everything is running. Literally, unless like the world ends, there should be nothing to delay me anymore. I have everything I need. I got the internet. I got this. I got that. I got the green screen. I got the mic. I got a shitty camera, but it'll do for now. Um, I'll probably upgrade that in the next week or weekend. Um... <laughs> once I finish unpacking everything so it'll be good to go guys let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts of what Gumi is doing over the last couple of weeks how how are you how do you feel about what how they're handling the situation and more importantly I'm really curious to hear what you guys think of this cash summon do you think they're just being greedy buggers and they're just trying to steal your money or, or does this justify it and if if this price is justified, I know in some areas it's different, but here in Canada it's $58, 60 bucks. We'll call it 60 bucks. Let me know if there is a reason why someone should pull on this. Like other than being a whale, and even I don't think whales are that dumb. But l let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. Again, I do apologize for the weight and everything being like that. It's just the way it was. Uh, like I said, I was pretty much had to like live in a hotel for a week until we got our, our proper keys here, and then. Uh, since then it's been help, but if you guys want more information on that Let me know in the comment section below and I will make a video specifically for that like about five or seven minutes Talking about how that went so you guys <laughs> so you guys can sit there and laugh at Bordy for having a fun time guys I will see you guys in the next video. This is Bordy and I am out of here. Peace